The US government's going to appear in court next week to answer questions over Prince Harry's visa application after he spilled the details about his drug use in his tell-all memoir, Spare. The case has been brought by the Conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, which is demanding the release of the Duke of Sussex's American visa application. Joining us live now is The Sun's former royal correspondent, Charlie Ray. Uh, good afternoon, Charlie. Uh, well, another chapter in the always turbulent life of Prince Harry, uh, but uh, he may pay. I mean, there's a serious chance he could pay quite a price for his extraordinary drug revelations. Uh, we talked yeah. of cocaine, cannabis, cannabis, of course, still legal in uh, uh, California, uh, and also, also, of course, he was quite a fan of magic, magic mushrooms, and all sorts of substances. Uh, now, if you uh, admitted to all of that, though, those. Uh, narcotic intakes, uh, and then you applied for a visa, you wouldn't be given it. So America uh, is, gets very sensitive about the idea that it's somehow snobbish uh, and uh, gives special privileges to members of the royal family or celebrities. So yeah. is he in serious trouble here? Yes, yes, he is, Kevin. And I think he's shot himself in the foot with this book, Spare, in which he details in excruciating detail the type of drugs he takes. You've just gone off through a list. Uh, but let's not forget as well, he, he he's admitted to taking hallucinatory drugs as well. I mean, this guy seems to have had uh, more drugs inside him than you could get in a chemist shop. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I find it very hard to believe that, uh, that the Americans are going to let this go. And we also have to remember as well, we all knew that Harry took drugs before Spare, OK? But this is actually him detailing himself a confession uh, about the fact he's, he's taking these drugs. Now, on June the 6th, we've got this federal court hearing, and that's, uh, that's quite, uh, you know, quite a bit serious, that is, in which a judge, Judge Carl J. Nichols, who, by the way, was appointed by Donald Trump, so he is a Republican, and he's not going to give the Joe Biden administration, uh, which is Democratic, uh, much uh, much crack. Sorry to use the pun joke there. <laughs> <laughs> at this, then he's going to be asking the Department of Homeland Security and this um, conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, uh, for their for their statements on, on this. And this could be quite serious for him because under. The rules, apart from what you mentioned about, you know, when you fill in the visa form, you are supposed to admit to what drugs you've taken. Um, and that may well go against you. The only good thing about him is he's not been convicted of any offences. Then it would be a complete and utter no-no. But there's only two reasons why you can get a visa um, uh, uh, in uh, America. One is a spousal abuse. Uh, with the two reasons in this case, one is a spousal abuse, and the other is a, 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 a visa which is a zero one, uh, which is for people who have got exceptional abilities. Well, we can discount that one for a start off. <laughs> can't we? What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be uh, later on, and what we'll see is the argument to unseal his immigration records, and the press are going to be allowed uh, to go in and report sure. on all of the details. Yes. How do you imagine it's going to play out? Well, we don't know, uh, Rosie. I, I mean, the the Biden administration uh, have stonewalled so far. They've uh, ignored a freedom of information uh, request on this matter. And this is why we've got this court case on June the 6th. Now, I suspect what's going to happen that once the judge has heard both sides of the coin, he will retire for a few days, maybe a week or so, and then he will deliver a written statement at a at a later date, but it's quite worrying for Harry. Uh, you know, let's let's not let's not play down anything on this. This is this is very very serious. Charlie, what's the sort of motivation for the people bringing this case against Prince Harry? Effectively, I think the motivation, Rosie, is quite simple: is they want to know if Harry has been treated uh, with you know a, like a VIP style situation to get into America, uh, whereas, you know, normal people like you and me and everything else, we've got to fill in this these visa forms, as Harry has done. And if they ask you, if they ask us, have we have we been taking drugs, the likelihood of us getting into America, if, they, if we were to answer yes, uh, is zero. And if you 
deny the drugs, and then they discover that you have taken drugs, well, you can be deported. And, you know... Yeah, I mean, I mean Char Charlie, it, the thing is that this case, whether or not he loses or wins, it's going to be really embarrassing for him. And to, to go back to the, Rosie, you know, the, the, the Heritage Foundation, our classic uh, American conservatives, they don't like drugs. They don't like people who take drugs and they don't think foreigners who take drugs should be allowed into the country. That's what the basis of it. But the revelations are going to be embarrassing, aren't they? I mean, I mean, and without re using another pun in referring about Harry's, Harry's life and his near collision in New York, Harry's become a car crash in himself. Uh, you know, he's done so much uh, with this book. It, it, it's earned him an awful lot of money. There's no doubt about that. But the revelations he's come out with are absolutely yeah. staggering. As well, I said, there'll you, be more to come, uh, Charlie. Yeah, you know yeah, that. Absolutely. Great to talk to you, Charlie.